Hi up the con, how's everybody doing? Been a few days since I did a video. It is freezing on the East Coast. Freezing. However, had some updates that were done to the Mac. Everything is done now. We should be back in business. So let's go over what happened during the week. Well, first of all, that was a brutal Monday night football game. And uh, being a Jets fan, or at least a Rex Ryan fan, you can forget that one ever happened. That's the way it goes sometimes. So what's going on? Well, your best pick has been just kind of running away with things for a while. Didn't really play much this week. So thus, opens the door for a few other people. Charts are underneath me, as you can see. Looks like uh, Rocky Sheraton from Primetime Sports Advisors had quite the good week at 19-8. and eight. That is a 70% winning percentage. Also, Craig from CT Sports Picks, 17-10 and 10 at a 63% winning percentage. And then we move on down to picks and predictions, 30-22 and 22 at 58%. So nice job to those guys. Rocky leads both categories for the week with a bankroll of $5,197, so not too shabby there. And then Craig from CT Sports Picks, $3,778, nice job. And then Picks and Predictions, $3,345. So you can kind of see how it works. The higher the winning percentage, usually, depending on how you bet, the higher the bankroll. Now, on the Monday night debacle, at least if you're a Jets fan, Craig from CT Sports Picks goes 3-1. and one. We'll add 1,998 to the bankroll. Did have two basketball games in there. The Heat got it done for him. The Oklahoma City Thunder did not. Gino's winning ticket, well, didn't win this particular day. He had the Patriots staying under the total. Pete James of Parlay Pete Sports. 1-1. One and one. It's basic juice. Give back 122 bucks. Had the Pats, but the Jazz did not get the number for him. Picks and predictions. Two and three on the day. Going to give back quite a bit. Primetime sports advisor is Rocky Sheraton. Two and one on the day. Plus $465. He is also 14 out of 16. And his last basketball plays and looking at today's stuff... He has quite a few plays going on there. The Sportsman goes one and one on the day. We'll give just a teeny bit back. That's just how it goes. It's not my thing here. Hope this max okay. Better be. Mick from Top Shelf Chicago had the New York Jets and they don't get it done. The Underground Sports Connection, one and two, they don't get it done. Your best pick did have a play. Goes one and one and going to give back a little. So it should be an interesting week as the football season really, really starts to wind down at this point in time. But men's college basketball really starts to heat up. The pros are a little harder, but if you're dialed in, you'll see how that runs. College football is pretty much away for a little while, or at least important games are. But you have the Thursday night NFL. Soon they'll be playing on Saturdays in the NFL. And tons and tons of college basketball. So on a Tuesday night, who's going to do what? Well, let's take a look and see. The particular handicappers. Got three. We're rocking pretty good the last seven days. What are you going to do? We'll see. The choice is yours. We'll see everybody Wednesday morning. After a little break over the weekend. For one me. So there is definitely a cold going around. And it is freaking cold outside on the East Coast. See you at some point on Wednesday. Play up, dot com.